Hello everybody and welcome to part 5 and hopefully the final part of this 20 kilo e-way series. What I've got left is these capacitors, yellow and black tantalums, and transistors, and these little uh, OCs. I can't imagine there being much gold in these, if I'm honest. The size of that. Where's all the gold meant to hide? Anyway, I'll process all these now in one video. I'm going to do these together, pull these in here. I'm going to incinerate all of this, about 500 grams of capacitors. All that's going to get soaked in nitric. Then I'll I'm going to incinerate these crush everything, incinerate these, crush everything, sieve it all into one beaker and then dissolve the gold from both of these together and hopefully we get a decent amount. Can't see it myself, um, there's just not enough material here for gold um, but we'll see what's in there. This stuff would be perfect for smelting, unfortunately I'm not set up for smelting, hopefully next year um i can get set up for that and i'll start doing all this smaller material myself normally i don't even bother with this stuff um i couldn't even tell you what would be in there what i'm expecting but i'm not expecting a lot if i'm honest the mlccs that's all them i'm not doing them they're all they're all magnetic or well, the majority of, her, of them are magnetic, and there's just not enough in there for the amount of nitric I'd have to use. This is already going to eat into the profits anyway, so I don't really want to do them. I might leave them to one side and practice smelting on them, like I say, next year, maybe. Um, if anybody's got any advice with smelting, I've never had any experience with it. Um, drop me a comment, let me know if there's any type of fluxes I should be using, uh, collector metals which is best, bismuth, lead, I don't know. So, yeah, leave me a comment if you can think of anything that you that I could use or any cheap ways of uh, doing the smelt without going out and buying massive furnaces. And I did see one guy um, using KO wool uh, to make his own furnace. I might give that a go. We'll see. That's that's next year's problem. For now, I just want to get this video, this series finished. So I want to do. I'm going to incinerate these. The next time you see me, everything will be incinerated. Right. So everything's incinerated now. There's all the capacitors and the tantalums. There's all the little OC chips and all the transistors. Next up crushing so very simple throw it in crush once everything's crushed I'll throw it in the beaker and then I'll go to nitric acid on the capacitors and I'll do the same on the uh, transistors and the OCs. Now I can't really sieve this material because a lot of the silver on the tantalums is attached to the electrode uh, with the other capacitors. I'm not even sure where the silver is or the palladium or yeah. so I'll just crush it all up as best I can, throw it in the beaker. Get okay, it all ground up, just like that. And then the acid will work its way in and do its thing. Okay, so in the beaker on the left, we've got the capacitors and all that small stuff. And in the beaker on the right, we've got the transistors 
and the small ICs that I'm hoping to get a little bit of gold out of. Um, I can't see very much gold in the bottom if I'm honest. We'll see what happens. We'll just put a bit of nitric acid in here. This is just 10% nitric acid. Uh, it's very dilute just in case there's any um, really reactive metals in there. I don't want it to boil over. And then I've got some 40% uh, nitric to pour onto the uh, small ICs to dissolve any copper or anything that might be in there. But that's reacting straight away. We'll get this up on some heat. medium heat and then I'll leave them to react I'm confident that there's no um, extremely reactive metals in there so I'm going to pour some of this 40% in uh, this will dissolve some of that um, steel and whatever's in there should react quite vigorously so I won't be putting this on any heat at the moment I'm going to probably have to do multiple extractions on this material as the more highly reactive metals will eat up all the nitric, uh, some of the low reactive metals will dissolve and they'll precipitate and they'll re-dissolve and it'll just eat up all the nitric acid. So I'll be doing multiple extractions until all the metals have dissolved. As you can see, the reaction's taking off quite well. It's creating its own heat to drive the reaction forward. Right, so the first lot of reactions are complete. No more nitrogen dioxide gas. I think what I'll do is I'll pour some of this, uh, I'll, I'll pour all of this um, nitric off into the other reaction, uh, just in case there's any free nitric in there. That'll help dissolve all of the uh, base metals in there. And then I can put some aqua regia in with these OCs and see if there's any gold in there. There was a good amount of nitric acid in that pour that I just did. As you can see, the uh, nitrogen dioxide already starting to fill up the um, underneath that watch pass. Okay, let's get some aqua regia in here. We'll start off with about 100 ml of hydrochloric acid and then a heap teaspoon of uh, potassium nitrate. And then I'll leave that to react for about an hour maybe now it's been going for about five minutes and already you can see there's a lot of nitrogen dioxide being produced so something's going into solution hopefully it is gold Right, so I've done a stannous chloride test of the solution and there was a small indication for gold. Not very great, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what comes out of it. Um, there's not going to be a lot. Probably not even a tenth of a gram. I'm going to throw some um, ferrous sulfate in there and see what precipitates. As you can see, the reaction is not great. I'll leave it to settle and then uh, we'll get it weighed up. So here's all the gold precipitated from that, um, them small OCs and them transistors. It's really not a lot. We've got 38.6. This ain't even going to move the scale. again 38.6 yep not even moving the scale less than a tenth of a gram so that was a complete waste of time
Okay, after that complete disappointment with the gold, I'm going to get back out here and carry on with these uh, nitric acid boils. I've got some fresh, uh, freshly made nitric here. I'll make my own nitric acid. I'll leave a link in the description to a video on how I do that. Uh, don't worry about the blue colour, that's just a bit of uh, blue nitrosyl. The nitric oxide. Won't affect the reaction. And that orange colour that you can see, that line around the beaker, that's iron oxide, otherwise known as rust. We have a little look at that. There you go. I'll leave this to react. I'll continue doing nitric acid boils until everything's gone into the solution. And then I'll get back once I'm ready to do something else with it. You don't need to sit and watch me dissolve this over a day. Okay, so I've got three different extractions of that material. I've got some uh, sodium chloride here. We're going to see if we can precipitate any silver. A small amount in that one. Bigger amount in that one. And barely nothing in that one. Now the one on the right is from the first extraction, the one in the middle is from the second extraction and the one on the left is from the third extraction. So the first one I wasn't expecting that much silver to be in there to be honest. That would be just mainly base metals. So at least I know there's a bit of silver in there, it doesn't look like a great amount, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so these are the solutions that we have that did contain silver. Um, I've got some table salt here. Just pour that in. The silver nitrate is going to convert to silver chloride and it's going to precipitate out. Everything else is going to stay in solution. I'll be able to just clean that up, do a quick conversion and then wait up. I'll leave these to settle overnight and then get washing them. So here's that small amount of silver chloride. Um, I've done a couple of rinses on it. I haven't gone too mad. I'll just do a quick ammonia conversion. Uh, dissolve it in ammonia and then precipitate the silver. And then I'll just get it melted. I'll re-refine it at a later date. But there's not a lot here anyway. Didn't take long for that to all dissolve. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I added some DMG to the two solutions behind. Uh, there was no palladium in there either. And there's the silver being precipitated. I'll leave that to settle, and then I'll melt everything. I'll get the silver melted, I'll get the gold melted. Um, and we get it all weighed. Okay, so here's the gold and the silver from all that 20 kilos that we originally started with. We've got 2.7 on the gold. And a little tiny piece here, and there's a few bits left in the melt dish. We'll get them at a later date. And 6.7 on the silver. So all of that small material that I never normally bother with was a complete waste of time, really. Uh, it's cost me about £40 in nitric acid to recover £6 of silver. Um, I do think it would be better smelted, save a lot of it up, smelt it all. Um, at least you can see what you're working with then. But thanks for watching. And thank you to the 3,000 people that have subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.